What's up guys? It's me, your girl Alisa from StylishCurds.com and today your girl is back with a new video and I am super excited for today's video because we are going to be doing a me versus the model video. This is going to be featuring Nordstrom models so this is also a Nordstrom plus size haul. So if you are interested in checking out the pieces that I've got and seeing how it works for me versus the model then you guys already know what to do and that is to keep on watching. jump right in and get started it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos so I'm super excited to do that today if you are new to my channel or new to these type of videos basically what I do is I pick a brand and I compare the model to my more voluptuous body as we all know most brands use smaller plus size models or even midi size models so I'm showing you how the clothes really look on me as a voluptuous curvy sometimes round plus size woman and basically comparing it as to how it looks on the model so this is just kind of like just to compare but in a more positive way on how things can work for your body type regardless of your size or your shape also just for size referencing I can range anywhere from a size 18 to a 24 or from a 2x to a 4x when it comes to my body type I feel like I'm a cross between two body types I know everyone has their own opinion on what my body type is sometimes I can fall into the hourglass shape depending on if my weight is up or down and sometimes I can fit into the apple shape so I personally dress for two different shapes so depending on what I'm trying to flatter more or even sometimes trying to camouflage <laughs> I'll keep it real um, that is basically the pieces that I look for so for me I do have hips you guys know I got a big booty, <laughs> I have big breasts, I'm top heavy, and I also have pretty big arms as well. However, the smallest part of my waist is up here, so sometimes it can look like I have an hourglass figure depending on what I'm wearing, or sometimes depending on what I'm wearing, I can look more like an apple shape. For me, it doesn't matter. I just wanna look good in my clothes, I wanna feel good, so that's why I say I dress for two different shapes, and you'll see as I go over each of the pieces to Today. So I'm not going to continue gapping. We're just going to get into the first look. As I said earlier, these are all Nordstrom pieces. So let's get into the first dress. Hey guys, so here we are in the first dress. Now this dress is from ASOS Design. I don't know if you guys know that ASOS is now on Nordstrom, which I love. <laughs> Uh, so they are carrying it in store and online. So I got this long sleeve mesh dress from ASOS Design and I thought it was really cool. I love anything mesh that has a little hint of sheerness and I really was digging the color combination on this as well as the print and I loved how it looked on the model and I really feel like it's fitting me the way that it fits the model. So obviously this is a bodycon style dress. It it is truly hugging my figure and I love this ruche detail so the ruching is definitely something that is flattering especially if you are a girl with a bit of a midsection like I am now I am wearing shapewear under this dress I would wear shapewear under any bodycon dress so that's why I'm showing it to you with shapewear this dress also has a detachable slip under it so I like that and the slip is green and you can adjust the the ruching so you can make this come up a little higher if you want it and it has stretch in it. it has elastic in it I think this looks really good I love it I was actually thinking about using uh, wearing this during fashion week and as you can see the sleeves are sheer now the model looks like she's a bit more straight up and down uh, this is fitting me where you can definitely see my shape a little more so you know when I turn around y'all, <laughs> getting all that booty. So this is how it looks from the back. And I think it looks good, but as you can see, there is a little bunching like right here around 
like I said, the smallest part of my waist is up here for me. So anytime I wear a belt, I always place it pretty much darn near under my boobs. <laughs> so I think this is a winner. I think it, it fits me the way it was intended to fit as a bodycon. And it does look similar to the walk to the model. So I'm just bigger than her. And I got this in a size 22. So let me know what you guys think about this. I think this looks fabulous. So I think we have a winner. Yay! Yay! <laughs> now let's get into the next piece. All right, guys, so now we are on to dress number two. This is also a dress from ASOS Design at Nordstrom. Now, when I saw this dress, I was immediately drawn to the beautiful colors in here. Plus, I love this side ruching detail. Now, I do think that this one fits me the way it was intended based off of how it looks on the model. Now, this one I actually sized up in. I love that it has adjustable straps, and I love that the straps are actually green. It contrasts well with the other colors in the dress. This, I just thought was so beautiful. I love how it fits. So remember I was saying that I carry pretty much, majority of my weight is here and back here. <laughs> that I go between these two, depending on if my weight is up or down. So I'm always trying to make sure that whatever I get is flattering. Whenever I get dresses like this, I size up. So this way, the dress can kind of skim over my midsection, opposed to like really clinging to it. Now this is how it looks from the side. So you can adjust the side ruching on this dress. You can make it longer, but the model has her side ruching up, so I'll put mine up as well. <laughs> but this definitely is adjustable. Sometimes sizing up causes the upper part to be too big, which is why I love when dresses like this come with adjustable straps, because I can play around with the straps to kind of make it fit a bit more snug. So this is how the dress looks from the back. And I think I should, I, want, I think I might try a smaller size just to compare and see, but I'm also not mad at this. So this is in a 24 and I feel like I could have gotten at 22, but I do like how it fits here. Cause nothing is like too tight. Like I like it when it just, again, skims over the curves. I love the cow neck in the front. I think that's very like chic and classy. And then it's like, bam, hit them with a little side thigh, you know? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this dress. So this cardigan is the reason why I like doing videos like this. You guys will not believe this cardigan is not from a plus size brand on Nordstrom. And it's not even in a plus size. This cardigan is from Farm Rio. Farm Rio only goes up to an extra large or a size, I think 16. However, being that this cardigan, the one I'm wearing, is a size extra large, this bad boy fits me like a dress. This fits like a wrap sweater dress and it's supposed to be an oversized cardigan to wear with like jeans, pants, skirts, whatever you wanna wear it with. But I, this plus size body, this 22, 24, sometimes a 20, <laughs> fits into this extra large which is equivalent to a 16. This is why you just gotta try stuff, y'all. Things can be cut oversized, but on your plus size body, it can be more fitted and it still looks good. It hits at the knee, and I'm five foot seven and a half as a height reference. Look at this, you can't tell me this doesn't look good. I love the print on this cardigan. It is also very stretchy. If you have heavy arms, look, you still have room. It has a detachable belt. But just for the video, I put on a strapless dress under it so I wasn't gonna show you guys all my goodies. <laughs> but look at this, guys. Like, I can totally wear it open with, you know, a pair of, like, uh, full leather leggings for the fall. I mean, it's a really nice sweater. The quality is there. And look at this. And it actually looks the same on the model as it does me. So this is why I love doing videos like this because Sometimes we may feel uncomfortable with trying on things that is not our size, but you gotta just look at the way things are cut, you know what I mean, what type of fabrics things are made of, because when things are made with elastic or if it had, or the uh, stretch and knit, definitely just try it. The worst that can happen is that it doesn't fit, and you just put it back. That's it. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about this cardigan. I love it. I think it's fantastic. I cannot wait to wear this. I have boots <laughs> already ready for it. Gorgeous. This is how it looks from the back. 
So as you can see, nothing's too tight, nothing's pulling. This is a size extra large. I haven't been an extra large since like 1999. No, maybe like 2005, but <laughs> I mean, it fits great. So let me know what you guys think about this down below. This is a winner. All right, so next up, we have this faux leather moto jacket, and this is from Blank NYC on Nordstrom. I got this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, and I wanted this jacket because it has gold details. I feel like anytime you get a black moto jacket, the hardware is always silver. So when I saw that it had gold hardware, I was like, I gotta get it. And I also like the cut of this. So it has more of a relaxed cut. So as you can see, it does fit me the way it looks on the model or the way it's intended to fit, which is a little bit loose and relaxed. Now this is how it looks from the side. The only thing I don't like and this is when you have a high butt, a high booty like I do, and a big booty. So when a jacket is a little shorter, but not short enough, as you can see, you, you see all this extra room right here, right? And you don't see that on the model. However, you do see that on me. So I can also zip up the jacket. This is how it looks if I were to zip it up and it would lay pretty nicely. So I got the jacket in a 3X. It only goes up to a 3X, but the 3X fits more for a 22, no, the 3X fits more for a 24 to 26, the 2X fits a 20 to 22. I do think I could get a 2X if I wanted more of a snug fit. However, this is a nice relaxed fit that I'm not mad at. It's really a great moto jacket. I think I'm looking really kind of bad gal. A bad gal. No. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of it. I think this is a winner. It looks really okay, good. So next but up, we have a dress from Ken by Christine on Nordstrom. For those of you who may not know, Ken by Christine was created by an influencer. Her name is Christine, but you probably know her as Trendy Curvy on social media. Such a beautiful, sweet girl. I bought from her line a few times before she even hit Nordstrom. But now your girl is at Nordstrom, so let's give a clap for that. And so I saw this cute black and white leopard print dress, and I was like, oh, that's real chic and simple, but also it's going to be flattering on the body. So I decided to get it, and her size chart was a little different. So I feel like this fits me the way it was intended to fit. It's a wrap dress. So wrap dresses are pretty much one of the most flattering dresses on any body type and any size. The model in the photo is actually Christine. So Christine has a true hourglass shape. Like she's like, look down, look down, you know? <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I feel like that would definitely look a little similar on me. The differences for me is my midsection isn't as small as hers is. This is a great wrap dress. The quality is there. It's nice and soft. It is not a traditional wrap dress where you loop the belt through and wrap it around. So the inside is sewn so you have to pull it over your head or you can step inside of it. However, this thing has a lot of stretch. So I feel like you could even size down if you needed to. Now I got this dress in a 4X. Now this is when I always say you have to look at the size chart because the size Last chart on this says that the 3X fits someone who's more like a 2022 and the 4X fits someone who's more of a 24, 26 and then the 2X fits someone who's more like a 16, 18. So this is why it's important to read those size charts whenever you think that you are one size and all brands, just throw that out the window. Read the size chart, folks. <laughs> so I got the 4X because I said, you know what? This is meant to kind of, you know, show off the curves a little. And then, like I said, I put on some weight. So I didn't want anything too clingy. And I'm really glad I did go with the 4X. I could probably get away with the 3X. It would just be like real snatched. But I didn't want too much of an emphasis here. You do get a little ruched detail around the midsection. I love the length on this so it's a little bit kind of longer in the back and this is how it looks from the back. I love the sleeves, they're three quarter sleeves and they actually fit 
me pretty well so it's flattering on my arms and you get this nice little crisscross opening here this is just such a simple cute dress perfect for work for the fall you could throw on a little black blazer you know with this for the office or obviously wear it on its own so this is a winner in my book i think it looks really good on me and i think it looks amazing on christine because she's the model and she's an influencer <laughs> but yeah so we got a yay little winner over here let me know what you guys think about this all right guys so moving right along we have this really cute floral printed duster now this is by ken by Christine again. Uh, Y'all know I love a good duster. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is really cute. Something for the end of summer. And you can obviously wear this in early fall. But it's a lightweight duster. It has kind of a gauze material. That's at least how it feels to me, like that gauze fabric crinkly cut fabric i'm quite sure there's a better name for it but i still like to say gauze <laughs> anywho now this i actually got in a 2x because with dusters i feel like they're pretty much always are oversized or cut with a little bit more room so i thought the 2x would be perfect and i actually kind of wish i got the three just because i wanted it to be a little bit more loose in the hip area like i wanted it to kind of flow like this one doesn't really flow but i got it in the 2x now i think if i got it in the three i would be just gone with the wind honey gone with the wind fabulous with it but this one it still fits cute i think it looks just the same on me as it does on the model so um, i really like it as you can see it has splits on the side and it is a midi length the arms are kind of like an oversized kimono style. It's really nice. I do like how it fits. This is how it looks from the back. I think it's just very pretty, something that nice and casual. So let me know what you guys think down below. Okay, so next up, I have this sheer short sleeve shirt that I got from BP at Nordstrom. BP is a in-house Nordstrom brand. I find them to run small. Now with BP, their 3X is more cut for like a 1820 and then their 4X is cut more for a 22-24. So I found this sheer black shirt. I got this one in a 4X and the reason why I sized up because the tops I would typically get between a two or a three, but I got the four simply because it's a button up <laughs> and when it comes to button up shirts and you have big big boobs we already know you get a lot of the gaping so i'm glad that i did size up because it's very minimal gaping and this does also have stretch so i think that's also helpful it's this is a really nice sheer top uh and it's not super tight on the sleeves it's very comfortable i think if i did get a three it would pull more so in near the bust area and i just like how this fits i have it on with a skirt that i got years ago from asos so this is not available <laughs> uh, but it looks really good tucked in i can button it all the way up to the top it doesn't feel like it's choking so i have room this is what it looks like untucked so as you can see it looks pretty nice untucked so if you are a person who does not like to tuck then this is also a really nice top to leave out this is how it looks in the back it's a really nice top i think this one is like under 30 bucks it might be like it might be about 30 bucks or 25 i thought this was cute i got this during the anniversary sale so everything that i'm showing you today will be linked down in the description box for you uh, i'll also leave my sizes down there as well for reference but yeah this is a winner i think it fits me just like the model so let me know what you guys think about this top all right guys so that is it for me i hope that you enjoyed today's video let me know down in the comment section below which piece did you like the best on me if you want to see how i style some of these pieces or you want to keep up with me throughout the week make sure you guys are following stylish curves on instagram also if you ever just want to shop some of my looks you guys can follow me on like to know it where i link all of my outfits that i post on my social media i will have a link down in the description box for you guys to check that out if you guys want to check out more plus size fashion, style, beauty, and also keep up with plus size news, make sure you guys are checking out the blog, stylishcurves.com. 
do not forget to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video thank you guys so much for checking out today's video and I will see you guys in my next one bye